Welcome back to that blonde farmer. Today I was out checking cows and uh, have a chronic cow that uh, stands kind of like the dog is right now. Uh, except for she, when she gets in it, she makes a mess and she likes to flip the float to the outside of the tank like that. So that's a problem. So my brother and I we're going to put that pan all over the top of it, so maybe, hopefully, she'll stop getting in there and tearing things up. Cute cameo of George. Plenty of room there to stick their heads in and still drink. Lots of room. And hopefully she won't get in there anymore. I did some good old wiring. The panel doesn't move around. But we'll come back later and check that she hasn't torn it up and that they're still drinking out of it. So we've moved on to the next pasture and uh, we gotta let these girls out to more food so we're gonna lead them on out. So let's get that done. Yeah! We let them out to some alfalfa and there's some grass up on the hillside and over there um, but because we were running out of food in the pasture so we had to find them some food I've cut this alfalfa twice now so it and it being so dry we weren't gonna really get a third cutting off of it so we thought this was the best route but I'm gonna go ahead and push them over the hill to the grass so they just don't you know belly up really hard to this alfalfa I don't think it would hurt him pretty sure it wouldn't but get a mix of both that way of grass and alfalfa so I know for sure and I don't have to worry about it.
So now that we got them out here on the grass part, I am got a hot wire here. I'm going to head on home and let these cows be some happy cows.